Um, I do find it interesting that people come on here and say 10 if you've seen the podcast and you know what's going to happen to you oh, if you yeah. call yourself a 10. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have so, the balls to say that. that? Yeah. It's ridiculous. Would you lay down your morals for Morals. fear of repercussion, would you? Would no, you? Think lay it's got nothing to do. It's got nothing to do with Are you moral. so weak willed and lacking of character a, that you would come moral, on here yeah, yeah, wait, and betray? It's a moral position that you're a ten. <laughs> what? That's that's a moral op that you're a ten. I'm being, I'm being dramatic. I'm rallying the troops. I'm being dramatic. Okay. Listen, it's got <laughs> nothing to do with morals. You know what? You will not compromise your morality. Just we are ten to this table. The table please. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> When, when a woman doesn't have an outside perspective and she thinks she's a 10, when nobody sees her as a 10, it means she doesn't have a sincere conversation with herself. So even if you're a 10, you not say that. You're not going to say you're an 8 and you're not going to say you're a 10. What do you say? You, you give the lowest number because you let people say it about you. You're not going to say it about yourself. Usually women that say that they're a 10, they have a very low self-esteem and nobody give it to them, so they have to give it to themselves. I feel like that's an opinion. For yeah, sure. you think eight like, is low? That's an opinion. I it's think it's not low. It's high. I mean, sorry. You think eight is high? I think that's an opinion. Yeah. Most women are not well, high. Is, well, I think well, nine and ten is like, like for sure high. high. But like eight could be per, like it's like high. Like and, yeah, everybody I can back you up on this. I'm like I, I know. Ten, I'm ten. It's Cindy Crawford when she was young. Ten. It's Stephanie Seymour. Can I say something? Wait, let me just We can pick seven. Ten. It's Stephanie Seymour. Young. 10, it's Linda Evangelista Young. 10, it's Christy Terlington when she was young. None of the girls here, with all due respect, she's gorgeous, but she's still, compared to the girls here, she's 10, but nobody here well, is a 10. Is, well, comparing. here's my question, okay. here's my question. What does an average woman look like? Like an this. average woman. Like so this. average would Early be five. Average. I feel like a like golden what ratio. What does an average woman, so, so if every woman who comes on this podcast is a, is a seven, eight, nine, or 10, exactly. right? What the hell does an average woman look like? All of us are I average. I feel like beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So whatever you think is beautiful, that's what you think. You rate well, yourself Well, then whatever that. that standard so, is for what you consider to be beautiful, somebody's going to fall in with the threshold of what average is, right? I feel like even oh, if you're bad looking, if you're confident really and you look good to yourself, you're going to come across more beautiful. Now, sure, if you're like, oh, I would, I'm really I'm pretty, but all of let me tell everybody I'm not that cute. You're going to look like you have low self esteem. I'm going to concede like you're not all sure these points, yourself. right? I am. Like, that right. doesn't make you, you do glow. Confidence. That makes you diminished. No, I have I one important point. It's unattractive to yeah. men yeah. Yeah. if you go around saying, and I've done it I'm in the so past, you know, I'm been so like, oh, I look great. And then my partner's just like, oh, okay, well, I guess I won't compliment you then. And, you know, I don't think it's a very attractive thing to men for women to parade that. I think if they are just. You don't have to say you're ugly, but if you're just exactly. slightly more modest Thank you, with it. Well, just be humble, but, but don't like not cherish yourself. Just be yeah, but, but I want to I want to give you guys yeah. I want to like, give you guys you an example. Don't be afraid second. of yourself. Hang on, hang on, yeah, hang on, hang on. like what? I'm just gonna jump in for a second. It'll get right back to you. I promise. I have not been interrupting you. Uh, Shalise, uh, yes. is that is that your name, Shalise? Yeah. Sh- okay, okay, I got it right. So I'm trying. I'm sorry. I write everybody's name down, and sometimes I mess them up. Uh, I agree with you that beauty is subjective. Uh, or in the eye of the beholder, right? There's going to be some people who find some traits more beautiful than others, and et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But from your subjective standard, that would still lead to some people are really beautiful and some aren't, right? Even from your standard? Or is just everybody beautiful from your standard? I feel like everybody has beauty within them, but no, everybody's not beautiful. Like, beautiful... Then what does an you average know? person, Wait. an average woman from your standard Wait, look like? Uh, uh, Austin, hold on. I have the perfect photo to, to tackle this like beauty is subjective bullshit. For, Can we get the photo pulled up? Yeah. It's that, you know, the girl who's we've been meaning to pull it up. Can we get it quick, please? I, I... One sec, guys. Uh, make it like... Oh my um, so, okay, beauty is subjective. Beauty is subjective. Now, like, I'm just curious. The entire male population of the world, which woman, the woman on the left or the woman on the right, which one do you think pretty much all men in the world, if they had to pick one, just... Do, do, you have a, do you have a guess? So let's go around the table, guess. Is it the woman on the left or the woman on the right? This is right. The, the blonde woman or the, the brunette, brunette woman? I don't, uh, the skinny hold on, white let's, woman. Okay, so woman on the left, the, the blonde. Which one? 
Um, I knew coming on here that there would be some questions that I wouldn't be able to participate in because I would be going against like my values and so what uh, what values just what values my number one value is of acceptance and so for me to come on here and compare these yeah two you can women. accept one woman is less attractive than the other I don't know. Can, that is acceptance. You can accept that one woman is more it's attractive more beautiful, than the other. But I, I want to give an example. No, nah, I'd rather finish my point. Okay, Go ahead. Yeah. Um, I'm all about I'm all about kindness, and I don't think I think that if that girl was watching this and she heard me say that, that wouldn't be very kind. So I'm not going to participate oh in this question. She's Thank she, you. she's dead. <gasps> she's dead. <gasps> what? That's I don't know. So what you're just, saying is she's dead. Be bro. Kind. Yeah, to say she's just whatever. Her memory. <laughs> really messed up, right? Sorry. Yeah, but she's. <laughs> I'm trying to just, bro. It doesn't matter. She's not going to hear the shit. But she's, you've answered she's the chilling. question by saying you think does, her answer would be the answer would be don't unkind. Have to be politically correct. <laughs> Wait, you got to stay for this question. Hold on, I'm going around the table. Just stay, okay? Thank you for understanding. You got to answer this question. Come on. I will not compromise. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't, so I think that that's fair if uh, somebody asks you to compromise your morals in some way. I think it's totally fair to say that you won't. Can you tell me what moral you'd be compromising here? My moral of acceptance. I want to be an artist who makes people feel seen. I want to make people feel accepted. I don't want Do you to. accept neo-Nazis? Well, that's the thing with free speech, right? It's like, oh, there's free speech. I, ask you, I just oh asked God. you a question. Do you accept neo-Nazis? I accept that they exist. No, do you accept their ideology? Mm. Uh, she probably doesn't know what Nazi uh, is. No, you, Guys, you don't? I'm not, I'm not PR trained for this. It, it, it sure seems like a paradox of values in. This is called the paradox of acceptance. No, exactly. it's not that you accept everybody or everything. Just like right now when I asked you if you accept this, you say, no, of course not. And why would you? Right? It's heinous, right? It's absolutely heinous. It is very heinous. So the thing is, is like, it's, it's, a, it's a complete paradox uh, to say, well, wait, I, I want to accept everybody. But then when I ask, well, you, will you accept this heinous group? You say no. It's like, you, nobody's I asking you to compromise promote... a single value here. Thanks, thanks for, first of all, saying it's okay to like, not want to compromise on values. I just don't want to promote like, comparison and like, this idea of like, one thing is better than another. She's not yes, you do. Liter I literally just demonstrated that you do because by you say, okay, well then let me just ask you, right? Um, the uh, Stalinist regime of communists, <laughs> do you think that they are better than the Western capitalist regime of America? I don't know. You don't know. Okay, so Maybe do should. you think that the Nazi party is, <laughs> is better than um, the American capitalist regime? I mean, this is sort of out of the scope of the question. We're just I don't think so. I think not, I'd like an answer because you're making enough. a moral claim, and so I can make a hypothetical to test the moral claim, and I'm testing it right now by saying, okay, if I point to you, uh, you know, this, uh, this geocidal... I can't even say the word on YouTube, yeah. right? But if I point out this group over here, are you really going to say that you accept them as much as the other group? Really? No, that's not what I'm going to say. But I. No. But as a as as a human living in an imperfect world, I I accept there's imperfections because there's only one perfect thing, and it's God. And so, like, I understand that to have free will. Sometimes bad things are part of this world and I don't have control over them. I guarantee you this girl jokes with her like girlfriends and if they see like a dusty looking dude, they're like talking mad <laughs> shit about him, bro. Well, not only that, it's I worse don't. though because you it's, didn't it's, really give me an answer. Yes, I get it. Uh, yes, it's it's sad. The world is sad and there's lots yeah. of bad things in the world. That's well, the terrible. Is, but when it, asked yeah. between two groups and one that you find to be hideous, you say, no, I won't accept that group. Right. Look, okay, that's fair. And you know what? I wouldn't either. Right? Hideous, heinous yeah. group. Right? Whatever. It's Andrew, right? But, yeah. It's Andrew. Right? Okay. So two things. Okay, you caught me. Right? There's some. There's certain things. It's like what you said with obedience. Right? You don't obey if a man is like if your husband's telling you to like go jump to your death. Right? Like you wouldn't ask someone to sin. Like there's there's limits to everything. Right, and so like. Yeah, what? But I'm just trying to determine the the actual value that's limited. So let me just ask you this instead. I'll ask you a completely different question related to this one. Yes. Subjectively. Okay. Oh uh, well, well, actually, you know what? Let me just ask you this one first. 
Do you usually tell the truth? Honesty is another one of my values. I do my best. And do you, so you don't like to lie, right? Correct. Because that would go against your values, correct? Correct. Subjectively in your own brain, can, do you make a value judgment between the beauty of these two people? Go ahead and lie to me. Subjectively in my brain, yes, I do make a... Okay, great. Then tell us which one <laughs> from the sub subjectivity in your brain you give that value to. Well, see, that's the thing is I, I know that I'm not perfect, and so that's why I By the way, it's, and now it's a lie of omission because you've told us that you do make a judgment. Of course the two. I do. You just won't tell not, us what it is. Listen, guys, I'm not Mother Teresa, right? I'm not perfect. I'm just... I, I admit, yes, there's certain... I do, like... I do judge things, certain certain things, and I wish I so didn't. Fella, I wish I was. I wish I was perfect. I I'm wish I was. Just from that subjective standpoint of which one you do judge as being better looking than the other one, which one is it? That's all I'm asking you. I understand. That's what you're asking me. I'm not saying I'm not making a judgment. I'm saying that I will not share that judgment. Wait, I have a question. Okay, um, we will go around the table. But um, have you ever seen a beautiful girl with a mid guy? There's a lot of Adam Sandler movies. <laughs> you guys ever seen an Adam Sandler movie? I love no, Adam No, I mean Sandler. like, sure, there's movies or whatever. I just mean in real life. Um, is this, is this, to, is this to trick me? No, just asking you a question. <laughs> Have you ever seen a beautiful girl with a mid guy? I mean, I know I said I don't like to make judgments, so I don't really know how to answer this. It's unfortunate I did not ask this question prior to having shown the photo or asked the rating the 10 question. Oh, wait, because, wait, hold on. on, but hold on. You're lying. So she's lying, right? You're lying through omission because you just said you want to answer the question as yes, but you just caught yourself and said, but if I do answer the question as yes, then that would... Uh, previously contradict my previous statement that I don't make these value judgments. So that oh, so you just said I, I just don't, I just I don't won't answer even though I know the answer. Look, I didn't say I don't make these judgments. I just don't try to make judgments and like share them, you know? I don't like yeah, how that does I that, make these how judgments. How does that compromise the value of honesty though? That's a lie of omission when you're asked. She's politically correct. That's the mm -hmm. problem. Guys, I'm not yeah, politically but, but, do correct. You know what, what, just... Do you know what a lie of omission is? It's where you know the answer to the thing. No, right? there's there's uh there's a reason why you can like plead the fifth, right? So not answering is is a valid thing. Oh my God. Yeah, to the government. This isn't a court of law. <laughs> exactly. What are you talking? There's no Fifth Amendment here. You don't you hurt can't anyone. Invoke you the don't fifth. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, uh, Brian, get your gavel and your rope, Brian, <laughs> so that you, he could rule whether or not you can plead the fifth. Like what? Um. So look, I, all I was just trying to say there before was that. If I had asked this question to the whole panel, if you've seen a beautiful woman with a mid guy, all of you would have giggled and said yes, which would indicate to me that you are perfectly prepared to make comparisons when it comes to men. But you don't like this distinction. You don't like making this comparison. In any case, I'm rather, uh, I'm rather mean, bored by your uh, reluctance to answer this question, so I'm just going to move it on. Thank you. I'm going to have the rest of the panel answer the question, though. Which one's more attractive? Wait, can I see it again? That went yeah, on for we'll so long. We'll pull it back forgot. up. Okay. Okay, Thanks. left okay. or right? Um, mm, my personal aesthetic fits more with the left, so I'm going to say left. 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 Come on. You're too far from the... <sighs> Left. Left. I'm not answering Damn, that. you're far as fuck from the mic, too. Can you I'm kindly not... get yeah, close I'm, to the mic? I'm next to the mic, but I don't care to answer this question because I just don't want to. I literally just don't want to. Really? So let's skip. Mm. I just don't care to. Okay. Mm. Can I say, say and also say something else? Is that because I'm waiting for a long time? <sighs> Answer the question first. I think the right girl is ugly and the left girl is gorgeous. Wait, though. I mean, anybody can see she's ugly. Come on, why are you so politically correct? Why? 
What like it's gorgeous. so weird. What does this have to do with dogs? Because she's it's ugly as hell. Yeah, yeah, but she's not she's a ten. Really because she's so ugly and like. you guys don't, hesitating not to say the truth. One ugly hesitate. and one pretty. That's it. Well, why to? This isn't political. Yeah. Politically I mean, correct, not political. I mean, why not to say the truth? Why to lie in the politically correct? You, hold on. I mean, even I kind of disagree with you, Sheena. We don't, we don't even need to be rude to the one on the right by I'm saying she's ugly, yeah. right? But I, I don't even feel that that's even necessary. We can simply, the most tactful way of going about saying this is the one on the left is more attractive. That was the question. Sorry, I'm not political. Well, correct. that's fine, but. Um, can rude. I can I please say something that I'm waiting? I'm for giving you minutes. 30 seconds. Please make it quick. Okay. If you look at commercials from the 70s and the 80s, you see the most gorgeous people on the on the commercials and the media. Today, because of the name of being politically correct and trying to to walk on eggshells by giving everybody equality with a look, and everybody can be a star, everybody beautiful, everybody this and everybody that. We on TV we see only ugly people in the commercials and the in the media, and the gorgeous girl get pushed aside because sorry, but every overweight girl or ugly girl that they want to be politically correct to her, they put her on TV. And if, to me, it's, it's repulsive. Not everybody a star, not everybody beautiful, not everybody smart. People are different from one another. And I'm sorry, just accept it. Stop being so hypocrite and double standard and politically correct. I don't like it. Sorry. I, I truly think this is coming from a place of privilege in a sense because I agreed with the first part, actually. Like, yes, not everyone is a I'm star. I'm not privileged. However, <laughs> however... If you've lived in Western countries as a person of color, it is so what important. What are you talking about? My grandfather have... is black. My whole okay. left hand is injured because I damaged it in a terror attack. If I go with short sleeve, people look at me like I'm a cripple. Uh -huh. What what are you talking about? But you, people have been judging uh -huh. me before all my life for being short, but it's okay. This oh, is who I am. I don't what? care when people, even if people tell me you look like plastic no, surgery, no. which I hear it all the day in the in the media. Oh, look at you, oh. fake boobs, fake clips, fake clip, this and that. I don't care. Yeah. People can say whatever they want, and it's their opinion. I don't get offended. I'm not saying you should care. I'm just saying it's a big it is ignorant what it is. for you to dismiss the I'm representation not, of I'm, people of color I'm in not, commercials now because they what, do not have Did I that. say car color? I... That was Did I say people in you, color? Said, you said in the 70s Did and the 80s, the commercials had beautiful people. They what? only had white people. I never said the word color. Yeah, you said what? that. I'm like, is that not true? I it's come from a family. The half of my family is really black. My grandfather is okay. Ethiopian. I never so why mentioned... Why do you feel this way towards I com never, the commercials? I never... Like Did I said the like word... Just generally wait, better. Wait, Did I said right? the word black? Be political. Be correct. Did I say the word black? I'm just saying weirdly. I never said the word black. If this is in your head, this is what you're thinking. You're there were thinking less that color people. I didn't talk about color people before. They show people that they're okay, dark. Well, can I say this because I am a black woman? Let me I finish my sentence. That. I don't though. think she was saying that black. I women, never said black. Like something about black women not being in commercials and stuff. More days, uh -huh. it's like, it's more beautiful. Like I meant thing. overweight. Like, no, wasn't black okay. women. I think yes. she's just saying in general. Like now, okay. it's all different types of body shades, different exactly. types of people. Yeah, like, that's what she means. But yes. I do think your delivery is a little harsh sometimes. Okay, like, I'm so sorry. actually, like, yeah, this just how to kind of go into do. I actually was not thinking of specifically black people. Yes, I was actually, you did because no, that's what listen, you said. listen. No, I'm not you don't listen. know me at all. Why you said I was thinking of Asian people because it's do you recorded. know the do you know the level of how much Hollywood has impacted racial discrimination against of Asian course. people in America? What? Now. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Oh, my God. Now the people, who, the Asian people who are going to Hollywood, yes, maybe they're not, you know, like um, the Victoria's Secret models. Like I'm not commercials. talking about Asian people or black However, people. However, I'm talking about the bar of, oh, wait, wait, wait. You're taking opportunity. A, the whole show from the beginning, you're taking everything personally. I'm not talking personally. I'm not taking I'm personally. mixed. My grandmother is Russian. My grandfather is Ethiopian. My mom African from Morocco, and I born in Israel. I'm Muslim, and I'm Jewish. So I'm the last one to be racist. I'm talking in general. I don't care what the person come from they can be black white short or or tall for me i care that you see the most ugly girls that don't take hair out of their armpits or their legs or I, their eyebrows and they're in a commercial presenting as a beautiful or a makeup model why not take a beautiful girl like her or beautiful which, girl like her and brand? put them in commercial i don't care the racism you you push it to the races which brand i mean and maybe all brands. Brand. brand okay all honestly brands. i think that might be their brand value that's their target market it's not value. The liberal people it's not value it's the liberalism the radical liberal 
radicalism and radical feminism brought that agenda to the media because they scared that people are going to say, oh my God, this fat girl get offended. Oh my God, this uh, guy get offended. Mm -hmm. Why to, to be scared that they get offended and let to put all the most ugly people out there? If I'm selling something to a target audience, I would want to make it appealing to that audience. But it's not like that. I'm telling you, if you don't believe me, go to YouTube. Look at the commercial from the 70s, 80s, 60s. It was people from all colors, okay? Maybe less black than today. Maybe less Asian. Maybe less maybe Asian. No okay, Asian. Maybe, maybe less Asian and black. But still, the, you had. I want to be in a world when the star is a star, the, the smart is a smart. Not everybody I mean, makes your fantasy. All the I men. Get it. And, no, it's not a fantasy. That's reality because no, not every the man, the, every man, it's not every man that want to dress like a woman can go to the bathroom and pretend to be a woman and lie to himself and force to society, force us to call a man with a penis that he's a woman. I refuse to live in a world like that. If it's a man, go to a man bathroom. If 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 you, the girl it's is a overweight, to live in this world though. Excuse me, I live in it's this world. Truth. Way, live in this no, world. I live in this world way you before you. You can move to you. a traditional country. No, I, no there's like, no I'm traditional country. There's no traditional country. All really? All I heard Saudi Arabia is like pretty conservative and traditional. Yeah, they're conservative, but if you go to the nightlife <laughs> in the in 2 o'clock in the morning to private no, I'm parties. I'm totally serious. Honey, yeah. have you been in Saudi Arabia? I actually have not. Exactly, I've been. When you go oh. to Saudi Arabia in 2 o'clock in the morning, behind closed doors, they do things that here they don't even dream. So spare me the bullshit from all over the world. People can be hypocrites and in the bedroom they do Just crazy Gerald things. Just donated $200. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I think it's been 30 seconds. Okay. Thank you, uh, Gerald. Good to see you in the chat. I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to move things on here. Uh, we have a lot to get through, so for the sake of uh, trying to not be here forever, I want to try to get through everything. Um, Let's see. Um, okay. By the way, hello, Brian. Welcome, hello. Rachel. Good to have you. Thank hello, you for the cameo. Thank you, thank you. Good to see you. I was summoned, so. Um, do we have a seat? <laughs> Are you able to raise the seat up a little bit? Andrew raised it as high as it goes. Oh, I'll just okay. try to sit tall. There we I'll go. Just try Perfect. To pretend I'm taller. Perfect. Thank you, Rachel. Um, you know what, Rachel? Actually, I want us to get into one of the girls here. Um, well, as she gets up. Uh, you want to? Okay, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, let me just see if there's anything while we're doing that. Okay, well, let's see. One sec, I'll get into more of the notes then. One moment here. Uh, you, how do you say your name? Kabra? Kybra. It's Kybra. like the word Kai. Are you in a cult? No, I'm Catholic. You are? Yeah. Oh. Because I saw you were like on your Instagram, we, you had a photo with a girl who's been on the show before, and she's in a cult. Oh my god, dude. So I was like, no, are you in the cult? No, she literally, she just made that up. Oh, <laughs> okay, all right, whatever. Uh, a witch cult or some shit? Uh, she's just doing it to be funny, I guess, I don't know. What oh. the fuck is going on? Okay, um, you said one time, your boyfriend told you that he probably wouldn't love you if you were a war worm, and it yeah. ends up being more a very, more a meme. very honest relationship. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard about this worm thing. Can yeah. you just explain it for the viewers? <laughs> so there's this thing going around where you ask your boyfriend, your significant other, like, would you love me as a worm? And so I was like, oh, would you love me as a worm? And they're like. I don't know, like, you'd be a worm, I would like you as a worm. And there's this even deeper one where it's like, if a wizard came in one day and turned you into a cat, and your partner knew that eventually you would turn back into a human, but it could be like 10 years, you know, you just don't know when, like, would they stick around with you? And he said, I would take care of you, like, I'd have you as a pet, but I'd probably date other people. And I was like, what? But honestly it ended up yeah it ended up being a really good re relationship like hmm. it's he, he was very honest um and there's Austin a, can you take it sorry go ahead go oh ahead. yeah thank you um and it wasn't like it wasn't that like oh because he told me he wouldn't love me as a worm like he's like this honest person and like never lies and better than all these people like you know we still we lie to protect ourselves like he still lied a little bit but it, it set realistic expectations like i never i felt mm. like i could really trust him 
Okay, so I, I don't know if the worm thing is... <laughs> um, I'll maybe, maybe we can come back to it, time permitting. Uh, Austin, can you... There's a, there, we're going to get into some of the tweets. I didn't get to show you this before the show, but there's a ton of tweets. Yeah. We have one from Sherry here who... Um, and it has to do with Rachel, actually. Ooh, wait, Rachel? Russia. Mm. Me, from Kami? Yes. No, I mean. Brian, did you mean a tweet from Kami? What? What you meant me, like oh, Kami? Yeah. Twitter. Yeah. That okay. One. Yes. Kami. Um, I, I got interesting. It. There was a tweet about. I got my names okay. mixed up. Yeah. There's a lot, so you might have to shift through them. Really? I think. Are you sure you're thinking about me? Yeah. Because maybe why? Make sure there's just nothing offensive on the page. Like For no you? porn or anything. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Good? Maybe. Yeah. If you're that. Oh. You can make oh my it god, this is... Uh, I, I just see know. the same ugly woman rage for patriarchy <gasps> commenting three plus times on this post for attention. Maybe, uh, oh are you able God. to, s wait, did you scroll up and see what it was? Yeah, scroll up. I didn't know this was, Here. like, Andrew, the wife, up? Rachel. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, I actually take nothing back. I'm oh, it a is? transparent, it's honest a, woman, but I had no idea. What a small world. Oh yeah, we don't have to show that. But, uh, <laughs> I didn't understand the context. What was, what was way more post? entertaining than I thought. Was it and one of Andrew's posts? I actually don't remember the, can they scroll up to the OP? Because uh, no, we're not gonna scroll oh, up. Oh, if it's TOS. Is it the one that Andrew just tweeted that has like 31 million impressions it's on it? It's that one, it's that one. It's from Andrew? Can anyone give context? Uh -huh. What was it about? Uh, was it political? It's still like a very G-rated version of it. Okay. Andrew Andrew tweeted that it was pretty incredible that women who are uh, at an aesthetic disadvantage seem to disproportionately oh, be wait. terrified that men are going to S A them. Oh jeez. Something to that effect, right? And it was yes. Andrew's a master at these tweets where he'll say something that's just like an is statement. Mm -hmm. And then the women will reliably go, so what you're saying is, and then they'll like extrapolate all sorts of meaning from it that he didn't intend. So, yeah. Hmm. And, then yeah. You, mm. and then what were my tweets again? I actually forgot. Oh, you I, just, I do vaguely remember this. Well, there's more, but we're not going to oh. pull those up quite yet. Oh, I, I forgot to go around for the rating yourself on the scale of one to 10. Do you think you will be better looking in 10 years time? Hide this. I love this question. So what are we using? You said 10 years time, like are we rating it physically? Like, what? Yeah, it looks, physical looks. So what about it physically? What do you mean? Well, like for example, I could be comparing two things and I'm like, what do I find physically beautiful? Six fingers, seven feet tall, three arms. You know, what about it physically? Because from what I understand, I've heard this what? question before. Wait, I think he meant like you. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. By okay. your standards. Guys, I think guys, that's what stick with me, what stick with this? me. What is this, fingers? Are you going to grow a finger <laughs> guys, when you're stick 30? Stick with me, stick with me, stick with me, stick with me. All right, so let's say you're asking me, am I going to be better looking at 20 or 30? Mm -hmm. So let's say we're measuring this, like what's our unit of measure? It's the physical beauty. What about physical beauty? Okay, so let's say you. overall attractiveness. It's very simple. Let's not overcomplicate it. Just overall attractiveness. No, no, I'm really simplifying hotter? it. I'm really simplifying it. Go ahead, it. simplify it for us. All right. So I think, from what I understand, what the unit of measure is is youth. And so then the question breaks down to: Am I younger as a 20-year-old woman or as a 30-year-old woman? And going off of numbers, yes, I am younger at 20 than I am at 30. Well, that's not the question. It, but it is. No, it's <laughs> not the question. It's simply, are you going to be hotter? Yeah, hotter are you based be more on attractive what? To, right. To based on what? In general, based any on what? measure that you rate someone at, so you rated yourself. Weren't you a ten? Were you one of the tens? Oh yeah, I never got to explain why I said ten. I thought we were going to be able to explain it. Um, there, okay, why don't you do that, and then okay. we'll go back to this. Why are you a ten? Um, there is a time in my life where I felt so invisible and so unloved and like like 
if I didn't love myself that no one else would just as a kid growing up so like I made a commitment to myself that like, I would show up to myself no it's serious yeah so I don't know but anyways going off of that wait person, what does that have to do with your assessment of your looks um because she said oh you're the one of the people that said you're a 10 okay. and i was just explaining why i thought i was a 10. right okay so do you want to just answer the question so we don't get bogged <laughs> down forever i mean you can move on but i said my answer no you, Did you? didn't say your answer you were asking for clarification and it was provided right so what's the unit of measurement it's are you going to be to more you? attractive than hot. a 10. you're more a 10 hot. now are you still going to be a 10 in 10 years Yes. Mm, but it does change the question a little bit. So, will you be more physically attractive in 10 years' time? Physically, based on what? On your physical appearance. Face, body. So, Very you're going to look different in 10 package. years. And if you're a 10 now, are you going to be a 15 or are you going to be like a 5? Like, are you going to get more attractive or God, less attractive? Hold on. I think it's. You, you guys are. You're, you're adding complication to it. Just let me get this th through. I mean, it's really like, what are we valuing when it comes to physical attractiveness? Oh, for Pete's sake, just answer the question. If you I am answering child, the question, I'd be like, do you oh. want dinner? Do you want dinner right now? Because if you do, no, you better answer the damn question. Let's really just peel back. Let's really peel back. What? Let's break down. Let's break this down. What are we considering beautiful? Mm. Is it youth? If the answer is yes, then it follows that yes, I will be 20. Like when I'm 20, I'll be younger than when I'm 30. So yeah. I have no idea why young men don't want to get married. I, it's, I'm, I can't figure it out. <laughs> I, I Wait, don't know why go. you don't understand. Because who would want to deal with this? Exactly. This oh, no, exactly. I meant like, you know what we're you. talking about. Just answer the question. We're not all smoking weed and being like, yeah, bro. Like, what do you like when we say attractive? Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I mean, do you understand like what it are you, like what a question is? There's like a premise, and then like what follows logically. Like you can break it down. It's like I've never, on on. I've never Here. done a debate. I have no um, idea what a question is. Private chat I am clueless. What if yeah. you really need me to break down beauty for you and looks? We can we'll do it right now. <laughs> okay. We're getting something pulled up. Okay, make it big so I can read it, please. <laughs> big. No, you gotta click on it, then zoom it out. Uh, make it a little bigger, a little bigger, please. Okay, so there's various factors when it comes to your face. Facial harmony, mid-face ratio, eye area, skin, features, bones, the rest. Facial harmony is how well a person's facial features fit well together with the rest of the face. Scroll down, Just keep going. Mid-face ratio, mid-face ratio is a major component in determining the objective rating ideally a female face should have. 36% of her mid-face, scroll down, eyes, desired traits for the female eye area, large almond shape eyes, arched shaped eyebrows, uh, feline innocent, okay, I would scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, skin. Healthy smooth skin is commonly a sign of youth. Uh, next, Fac facial shape, face shape, nose. Lips, snacks, bones, yeah. Yeah, but is that it? And then yeah, that makes and sense. then there's your body. You know, there's okay, there's cool. the skin. And so this all. is great. So right for the example, I'm comparing myself as 20 to myself as 30. So let's just assume that I have all the same features, right? Mm -hmm. What's the difference? The difference is age. So if the mm. value is youth, then yes. I mean, let's take for example this water bottle and this glass cup. No, it's not. If, okay, no, 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 no. Here, let me make, oh let me, God, let me so make this really simple. Let me make this I'm really simple. I'm trying to make this simple, too. It's not necessarily, I mean, age comes with things, but it's not necessarily your age. It's how you look, right? Yeah. So if you were 50, but you l somehow magically looked exactly the same, Yeah. Your, the assessment of your physical appearance would not matter if you were 20 or 50. Now, as it currently stands, there's no way for a woman at 20 to end up looking the exact same way at 50. But do you agree, typically, when you're 20, you're going to look different than when you're 30, 40, 50? Of 
Yes. You'll look different. Yeah. What are some of those changes that might occur? Well, you might get older and with age comes wrinkles. Mm. And so if the value is that you like no wrinkles, AK, like you like younger people, then yes. Then that means that the, your unit of measure is youth. If I say, for example, if I say, for example, water bottles or water containers that are metal are more beautiful than containers that are glass or I don't know, you know, and we're comparing these. It's like, which one's more beautiful? Well, this one's metal. So this one is more beautiful. Right. Like the unit of measure is that it's metal. You're, you're making this unnecessarily complicated. It's really simple. I think he's stalling on purpose. It's not. Huh? I okay. think she's stalling so, on purpose. I'm not Just like stalling. her friend made up a story about a cult. Okay, she's let, so here, let me ask you let me ask you a different question. Yeah. Do you think that the average 35-year-old woman is more attractive than the average 25-year-old woman? Based on youth? Like based what on is the, what? But let me ask you a question. You seem to be making the case that there are differing measures and differing units of attractiveness. Yes. One of which you think is youth. Yeah. What are the other ones? Well, for me, I don't measure myself purely based off my physical looks. My value comes from all sorts of things. Okay, so cool. You play the violin that has zero to do with your outward physical appearance. Yeah, and so since we're talking about physical appearance, that, that's, that's why I haven't brought about. that up. Okay. Yeah, that, that's what we're talking about. So okay. you could be the most amazing person, Yeah. and there could be, you know, if you tend to have a more positive disposition, you smile a lot. Totally. This will shift your, like your perceived physical appearance slightly. Yeah. Sure. Like if you're smiling and have a brightness to you versus constant scowling and resting bitch face, whatever it is. <laughs> I'll grant this, but a beautiful 10 out of 10 woman who's got a sourpuss on her face versus an objectively ugly woman, even if the ugly woman is smiling, is not going to be appraised or assessed as more attractive than the 10 out of 10 model woman. We're not talking about two different people. We're talking about me at 20 and me at 30. That's right. So uh, how is that relevant? Because you because you literally brought it up. You're like, well, it's a I think I'm more attractive because of my insides. And I well, said that's irrelevant. I told you where my value comes from because the second question you posed was like, do you think the average 35-year-old person is more attractive than the average 25? Yeah, more 25? physically attractive. It's within the context of the looks okay, conversation. Now that, I'm sorry. I just didn't have that clarification. I wasn't It was sure within we the context it. of the looks. Guys, don't see your personality. They I'm just, see the I'm outside. just being a little silly, guys. I just, Nobody see your personality until they get to know you. That's the whole point. Right, but I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, what are we using to measure physical attractiveness? Okay, so here, let me ask you this. It's actually stop, a match. Stop, 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 stop. Is it your position that you... that? Oh, my God, I just... God damn, you guys gotta let me fucking talk. Holy fuck. Totally lost what I was gonna say. Totally lost my train of thought. Do you think that in your own viewpoint that women are more attractive when they're younger? At 20 versus 30? Based on physical. Physical looks, yes. Based on what about the physicalness? Based on youth, yeah, they're younger. Respectfully, can we move on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm not trying to hog the conversation. Like, yeah. I mean, scientists, they need to agree on a unit of measurement before they talk. I don't see why the this is... The unit of measurement is beauty. That's not specific enough. You can't say the unit of measurement Aesthetics is are length. You need to say inches, millimeters, you know? Aesthetics are objective. We know what's beautiful and we know what's not beautiful. Yeah, now, so what's the measurement? You, can keep, you literally you pulled up a chart and it dumb? was showing me measurements. Hope, it was showing the mid ratio. I hope you're pretending to be dumb. Are you pretending are you calling to be dumb? Me, do you think you I'm being dumb? It. You could just drop the act and stop pretending to be stupid <laughs> and just answer the question. I feel like I'm explaining this in a really easy to understand way. Actually, I think opposite. you're being obstinate and ridiculous. Do and if we look at a picture of you at 20 and a picture of you at 30, trolling. which is going to look better. Yeah, you're going yeah, on and on. and we're not making any I progress. think at one point it's, it turned into trolling. People get really oh, bored. I'm sorry you guys feel that way. We can move on. I'm not trolling. I mean, just 
don't be upset when the show goes super late because you've continuously just waste 10 minutes every time we, we get to well, you having to you can move on you're the host or you could just you like, control the flow of the conversation or you could just operate in good faith and just answer the question I mean zero accountability okay I'll ask it again do you think you'll be better looking in 10 years time oh my god <laughs> based on what you're actually retarded. You're actually retarded. Okay. No, she's Wait, playing innocent. Her. She's just being a brat. She's I'm not okay. being a brat. You're being a brat. I just feel like I'm you can't here. defend. I, I know you can't. I have four you daughters don't. and I know when girls are like playing <laughs> dumb and being a brat. Okay. You're I feel like you can't, you can't defend your point, so you're just resorting to calling I names. I haven't had a chance to that's, make a point. That's what kids do. They call each other names when they don't get their way and they don't understand. Okay, I'll ask you a different question. Do you think... Do you think... Most men will find you more attractive now at 20, or excuse me, 22, or you when you'll be 42. If their value is youth, then yes. If their value is looks. Yeah, looks based on youth, then yes. Okay, oh so. Okay, let me ask you this. <laughs> if okay, you said the girl on the right was less attractive than the girl on the left, right? For that I image. said the girl on the left is more attractive. Well, I didn't even say it, but yes, sure. Okay, sure. So, do you think that the girl that you said is more attractive at 42 is more or less attractive than the other one at 20? Wait, but that's different people. Hold on. I, so I can even grant you. It's not. It's not a monolith here there are 32 year old women who are going to be more attractive than 22 year old women yes that's what i'm saying it's based on what what's the unit like is it youth or yeah but what? That, that would be a comparison between two people the comparison here is between you and you yeah <laughs> you don't even have any semblance of your position on this <laughs> like what do you okay do you think as people age they tend to become less or more physically attractive um they tend to get wrinkled and which get older by society standard by society is... standard of valuing youth then yeah <sighs> okay all right uh okay let me make okay do you think you'll be better looking in 20 years time me yeah you better looking mm. i don't know 30 years time? I don't know. I'll look older for sure. I'd probably, I, I value youth, so yeah, I mean, I, I think if that is what I value, then maybe I'll look more younger at 20, like, I don't know. Do you think a, uh, do you think you'll have an easier time getting a, getting a modeling contract now at 22 versus you at 102? Yes, because modeling agencies value youth. Oh my god, okay. I'm just moving <laughs> this on. You're 26, will you be better looking in 10 years time? Good question. I think um, looking at my mom and the genetics in my family, I think yes. But then if you were to say after that, I don't know because typically women in my family, they look, they age better until like menopause, like perimenopause. Like okay, so Asian you're 20. Raisin. <laughs> so you're 26. Yeah. Do you, uh, you'll be better looking at 36. Yeah, I want to work more on my fitness fuck, goals. So yes. Unbelievable. Huh? Well, Nothing. I have a question because is it commie? Mm -hmm. Yes. What like like communist? That's pretty funny. No, like commie, because... like God in Japanese. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> Anyways, you called me ugly, and so I'm 44. So I want to know: Do you think you're going to be hot when you're 44? Mm, I wouldn't say hot, no. I never said hot. I never even said I'm hot now. And so you, I actually didn't you do call want to... A 10? Didn't you call yourself a 10? No, I didn't. I never oh, said what, that. What did you say you were? I said probably an 8. Because we can all okay. say 7. Well, I it think didn't an 8 would be considered decimal. hot. For me, yeah. personally, I think 9 and 10 are hot. 8 is average because we cannot say 7. And then 6 is sorry not average Hold average on. attractive Congratulations. because i don't think i'm average out of Private all the women in the world show. but i think Hold out of quick. women that men want to date or society likes i think i am average amongst them 
Wait, really quick on this. Can we get this pulled up really quick? Yeah. Just for clarification. Now, I actually disagree with the faces that they show, but we're, this is going to explain the rating scale. You can disregard the actual faces here. I need the right where it... it, it Okay, so not there. There's no tens, god tier. Basically, no one meets the standard. Nine point five. That's the top zero, zero point zero zero two percent. I disagree with some of these faces. Whatever doesn't matter. A nine or a nine point five. Extremely rare. This range will consist of the best looking women of all time, with virtually every facial feature being top tier. These women have great bone structure, strong projected jaw, high set prominent zygomatic processes. Excellent facial symmetry and harmony, large almond eyes, full lips, fine eyebrows. Skin will show intact collagen and be clear, both signs of youthful youthfulness. Mm -hmm. The face will be almost perfectly harmonious with a majority of facial features being feminine and cohesive. Supermodels and some actresses can be found in this category. Scroll down. Uh, eight, uncommonly seen, these women are attractive with and without makeup and have high facial aesthetics. Face consists of attractive and feminine features, rounder, large eyes with the little upper eyelid exposure, high cheekbones, feminine, small chin, and overall soft and harmonious traits. Face might, may not be perfect, including one or two less attractive or more masculine features. However, this is negligible overall. Models and actresses can be found in this category. Scroll down. Seven, somewhat uncommon in the most attractive women seen on a day-to-day -day basis. These women stand out from the crowd and may be able to model or be successful as an Instagram model or influencer. A majority of facial features will be feminine and attractive, but they may possess a few flaws. Bulbous nasal tip, slight asymmetry, long mid face. The overall face is attractive and has good harmony. Six, these women will be good looking with mostly positive facial features and some negative features. Hair and skin will be healthy. Face will be attractive to a majority of people, but may be polarizing to some. Overall, face will be harmonious, and these women will be considered better looking than average. 5.5, uh, 5, these women will be above average and somewhat good looking, with some positive facial features and some negative features. Hair and skin will be healthy. Face will be somewhat attractive to some people, but only be slightly above average to others. Overall, face will be fairly harmonious, and these women will be considered better looking than average. 5. The majority of women fall in this range. Face is not head turning, but makeup can be used to accentuate facial features to the point of being considered slightly attractive to a decent amount of people. Facial flaws may be noticeable, re recessed, maxilla, narrow palate, asymmetry, excess upper eyelid exposure, excess bu uh, buccal fat, and imperfect skin. Four, a decent amount of women fall into this range and they will not be considered particularly attractive but also are not ugly. Possible flaws are noticeable masculine features, bushy eyebrows, large nose, strong chin, face lacks harmony and flaws detract from overall attractiveness. These women may, may possess a niche or unconventional face or style. Three, these women are considered unattractive by a majority of people. Many facial flaws will be noticeable. Overall, these women lack an appealing face but are not repulsive. Two, every facial feature will be below average and unattractive. These women are considered ugly by almost all of the population, potential flaws, extreme asymmetry, and little facial harmony. Scroll. One, every facial feature will be well below average and very unattractive. These women are considered very ugly by all of the population. Is there more? Scroll down. No appeal whatsoever. Okay, there you go. My bad. Sorry, I didn't mean to go there. Um, <laughs> does that help at all? Yeah, it actually does. So did you show this because I said in 10 years, I think I'll have better features than today? No, you were going back. Or you showed back. this because of the Rachel. Like, I you're, just want to clarify. You were going back to the, uh, the conversation about rating on a 1 to 10 scale. Oh, OK. Actually, after viewing that, I will say that I'm 7. But specifically, they said, don't say 7. They said you cannot choose seven, so that's okay. actually exactly what I said. Here, why don't we just try to get through this? Yeah. Um, so okay. Can I answer? And also, nope. sorry, Rachel, I called you ugly because after reading that, actually, I would say you're what they defined the category that I personally feel like was close to the description. They actually said is not considered ugly. <sighs> So, okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, but you're. I mean, I don't want to. No. Obviously, I don't want to like point no, out. I've been on, I've but been if on you really are before. wondering why I said that, I can explain. And I think it would actually 